Hi guys, uh, this is Tane from uh, Double Chin's YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm going to be installing some mud flaps onto the back of my truck. Or well, onto my truck. Um, I bought these Gator Bag mud flaps. They're quite expensive, but they look really nice and really well made. Um, I'll show you how they look. These are the one that I bought. Uh, my truck is a 2020. Sierra ET4 6.6 diesel Duramax. Um, I got these black ones, black on black, with silver writings. But then these are supposed to be black as well. Uh, they mailed it to me wrong, so I called them, and they were able to send the right plates. So I'm gonna have to put, take these silver one out, and put these on. Um, it does come with some hardware kits here and some instructions. So I'm gonna change those out for change those out. So this is how it's gonna look like once I'm done. That's how it should look like. So it matches with these. Um, I think these here are the front ones, and these are the rear ones. But I'm also, so, um, I'm going to be changing it so, if you look from the back, it'll say AT4 Duramax. And not, so you don't see two Duramax or two AT4 in the front or on the rear. So, um, yeah, let's uh, get going and uh, put these together and uh, see how it turns out. Um, but before we get to there, you know, these are pretty sturdy made. It looks pretty durable the rubber here is pretty thick as you can see here I don't know that's probably what three quarter of an inch maybe half an inch no it can't be half an inch maybe a quarter of an inch thick the plates these plates are metal and this is also metal it's pretty heavy duty metal that's put on here so yeah let's uh, change those and get them onto the truck Follow along. Okay, this is the passenger rear. Now it's telling us see if I can focus this in on it a little bit. It's telling us to remove one, two, three screws, the factory screw, which is I think is these three as you can see here, one, two, and three. And they are torque bolts. Our torque screw, so I have some torque screw here, which is a T15. So let's uh, take them off. Now I got the factory mud flaps on there, and they said in the instructions you don't have to remove it, so just remove the screws, and then the uh, after one just goes right on top. So which is which makes it pretty easy.
side and now for the front there's still have to remove this screw and that screw so let's go ahead and do that I'm going to show you one part that was, I was struggling with. There's a tab down here. As you can see there. There's a slit down here. Underneath the stack of uh, muff flaps. There's a tab here. So I can get you to see that. There's a tire that slides in it. That's what I was struggling with. Cause that's what will also hold it so it's nice and sturdy. So. Alright. The front one's done. Front one's all done. Now let's go do the other side. The passenger's all, all done, I should say. So one, two, and three. Those are the three bolts.
All right, I'm all done here. It took me about uh, half an hour, four or five minutes to finish everything. Um, it was a hard part was that I didn't have the right jack to take off my wheels, so that's what was the hardest part. It was a really tight space to do everything. But yeah, this is how it looks. So that's the front passenger. It's got the Duramax logo on there. And then as we go to the rear passenger, it also has the Duramax logo. But then if you look from afar, I got the AT4 on the driver's side. So it'll technically say AT4 Duramax or Duramax AT4, whichever way you guys uh, want to say it. But yeah, and then on the driver's side, yep, it's got the AT4 logo. All the way to the front side, AT4. That's my badge. So yeah, it looks really nice. Um, I actually like it. Well, let me know in the comments below if I should keep it like that, the AT4 Duramax, or should I just keep it Duramax in the back or just AT4 in the back? But yeah, we'll see, maybe I'll change it. So yeah, let me know in the comments below. Um, for all you guys that are subscribers, thanks for watching. And if you're new to here, go ahead and please subscribe. Hit that like button if you like this video. Um, otherwise, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks.